1970s has been baptised. And this has been hidden and this has been secret. Now because baptism uh, cannot be undone, the Sesta KV therefore cannot be undone. So it doesn't matter whether you change your name or you change anything about yourself. The system has set up a, at its foundation something that is devoid of law. There's nothing lawful about it. A, a, a aberration, an absurdity, and a heresy against the very, very principles of law from the beginning, and that is the Sesta KVs. But what they tell all their people is, if you talk about it, you're sacked. You cannot admit they are there. They absolutely run silent and blind to them. They will not admit to them. They will not speak of them. And they certainly will not act on them. And this is the underpinning of the absurdity of their system. That is Sesta KV. So, look, giving notice is giving notice. And giving notice is reinforcing that we are dealing... Look, let's, let's be... Frank here, we're dealing with people that, that do not follow the law anymore. You know, I, I've vacillated from, from one side to the other. Yes, there's law, there's remedy. You know, when we discovered this, this admission by Lord Blackstone, you know, the, the, the god of law of the last 300 plus years or 200 plus years in terms of um, uh, English law, it, it really is an admission that their foundation is not based on anything lawful. So changing your name will have no effect. Changing your name will have no effect. Um, getting a case to the to the Hague, and and really bring it, sticking it right up them. Yes, that's going to start having some effect, and we need to work on that. We need to work on bringing this forward, and doing a class action based on all the ecclesiastical deed polls, and doing a class action to say um, this has got to be brought out because there there is nothing lawful in what they're doing. Now, Gaelic and putting in Gaelic and Irish, um, I think it would be wonderful to put your EDP into um, Gaelic. I think it would be wonderful to see it in, expressed into that language. Will it make it more effect, effectful, effectual? I don't think it will. Um, but certainly it will strengthen your claim, you know, your EDP is a claim of right. But will it stop them? I don't think these people, based on their track history, are going to give one inch until the day they get dragged outside and are hung up by the mob. That's my feeling, the way things are. Absolutely. Thank you, Frank. That was, uh, that was really good. Thank you. We have Ron on the phone line. Let's see what... Ah, good. Yep. Yeah, Ron. Hi, Terry. Hi, Frank. How's it going? Uh, going well, Ron. Good, good. good. Hey, um... Northeast Texas did not identify himself, but that was Robert Fox. Okay. Hello, Robert from Ron. How you doing? Hey, anyway, um, a couple of things. I, I, I keep harping on the Ellenin thing because I keep discovering new things about this. What I consider a whole conspiracy and cover-up, okay? Two days ago, I'm rummaging around on above top secret website and this fellow had written a huge article on disproving the man Ellen in let's see, Leonid Ellen in, right? Right. Well, after an exhaustive uh search for his name, the university's from blah blah blah, the man does not exist other yeah. than in the figment of someone's imagination. So, here we have a story concocted that Leonid Elenin spotted this ice ball, this four-kilometer ice ball, 10 billion miles away with this tiny little remote-controlled uh, telescope, right? Yep. Well, it doesn't make sense. Because Leonid, the word, means... Meteor coming from Leo. Now, yeah. in, in the uh, Deep Impact movie, everybody needs to go watch that, by the way. Uh, there was this kid by the name of Leo that found the asteroid that was coming in to, to wreak havoc on Earth. 
Yep. Now, so you separate Leonid, separate it apart. Now you get you have Leo standing by itself. Leo is a constellation that Nibiru flows through from Orion. Now, last name, Elenin. First three letters, E-L-E, extinct yep. uh, level event. Yeah, Ellie. Yep. Ellie. Another key word in deep impact. Yep. Reverse it. Reverse Elenin. Now you have nine, and then use the E twice, nine E-L-E, which means September E-L-E. Yep. Now, <laughs> it even gets better. August 16th, when that comet hit Earth and Deep Impact, the movie, I found today on my sky chart that on August the 16th, we have a perfect cross in the sky. This is yeah. unbelievable. Vertically, good, time to send a, good time to send a package to uh, the beers and everyone, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. But anyway, vertically, we have Venus, the Sun, Mercury, and then Earth. Yep. Left to right, across the Sun, Saturn, the Sun, and then Mars. Perfect cross on August the 16th. And is that not very close to when the Jesuits took control of the world? Yep. 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 Same time. Yep. Same, Same date. Same date that we're going to shoot for, right? Right. That's yep. right. Yep. yep. And and this was in mid midday, so we're not going to be able to see this when it happens. Yep. So anyway, um, some interesting Wait. stuff. Now, my take on the two words, Lynn and Elenin. Number one, mm-hmm. I think it's a private, it's a private message to the elite. You know, it's it's a. It's a public name, but it's a private has a private meaning, right? Mm-hmm. Number two, I think it's our last public notice for those that can see what is going on, and that's about all I have to say. Well, okay, Ron. I think look, um, This, I come back to some things we spoke about a few weeks ago, and, and I, I refer back to them because, because they, are, they are important. The arrival of any object into the solar system occurs because the sun permits it. Right. And all indications are that if it is a large body, it arrives into this environment because it plays a significant event. If the crust of the Earth does not shift periodically, then the internal magnetic fields and the external fields will cause a catastrophic breakup of the crust and if that occurs then we talk about big chunks of the of the crust effectively separating oh the earth starts to fall apart hmm? did you go away frank terry are you there yeah, I'm here. Let me check and see where Frank went. <laughs> Frank got <laughs> off again. <laughs> he must have. Well, I know what he's going to say, that there's going to be a whole lot of earth crust movement, so everything gets reset. Hmm. And he, he talked about this a while ago, about the the clockwork mechanism of this this planet coming in, whatever you want to call it, every so often, you know. Yeah, well, when you say everything gets reset, you mean the, the, the Earth, air, the pole, the North Pole, South Pole, everything? Well, right. it all moves. It all moves because apparently we're getting all bound up. Hello. You know, the crust is getting bound up. Yep. So, so I don't know. Obviously, I didn't want me to talk about it. Um, but the, the, 
Ron, the, the point is that the the sun controls large bodies entering into its realm right. of of the nature of what we are currently called Ellen. You agree? Yep. Okay. Now let me flip flip it back to our mentally ill elite. The mentally ill elite have been waiting for the end of the world. That's what they've been brought up to believe. The 70s, where they manufactured it, was their vain attempt, and they've been living on the presumption that they were gods, and for 70 years they did it. But in the back of their mind, there are big big external events. And someone obviously plotted some time ago that this conceivably could occur, that an object could be a counterweight, of, of like a clock, like a grandfather clock and some counterweight that comes in and, and causes a rebalancing of the mechanism without the mechanism itself having to stretch out and break. Yeah? Right. And they, and they are interpreting that as the end of the world. Based on the fact that we're dealing with people who are paranoid, who are stupid, who are mentally ill, uh, the profile fits that they would view this as an end of the world event, even if they're plotting uh, in their kind of mechanical view that it's going to go smack bang into the earth or cause some catastrophic disruption. You follow? Yep. So it fits the profile, and it fits the profile that they have had this in the back of their mind for a long time. Now, the missing ingredient in all of this, here's the missing ingredient. The missing ingredient is the movement of the planets around the sun isn't mechanical, it is intent, it is relationship, it is mind, it is mind in motion first and description of mechanical second. That's a real hard thing to, to kind of conceive that the earth is in its position because the sun wants it to be there and because of that relationship between the sun and the earth, the core of the sun and the earth. So the position of this thing and the movement of this thing and everything that is about to take place, the sun, the earth, and indeed thought, mind, and intention plays an active part even more than the mechanistic, mechanistic aspects of firing off nuclear weapons or just thinking that uh, the world's doomed and we'll just hide in our bunkers. I, that's why I said... Uh, some time ago that when it came to me in dream that there must be a covenant with the sun within the covenant of one heaven. And you got to remember, people would see that crazy. You know, I spoke about Mars and right. bringing life back to Mars. I'm sure there are people who come to one heaven and think that I'm a lunatic. In fact, I think many of them probably come and think I'm a lunatic. But it was, it was such an important element to be infused in there I can now say to you, I can see that the covenant of the sun and bringing life to Mars is our counteroffer to Armageddon. Yeah? Right. So, if the sun is indeed a conscious being, if the life indeed is a dream, if thought has any weight to it, then our offer in the covenant that if we can free ourselves of the mentally ill, free ourselves of institutional madness, free ourselves of stupid people in power, incompetent people in power, then collectively as a species we can achieve this objective, then would it be in the interests of the sun to cause catastrophic civilization destruction or to cause enough of an impact to accelerate the political change on this planet? What would you say? Well, I think it's going it's to push the, the political bounds. Right. Yep. It'll, so it'll, it'll create a situation where the, the people can take over back over again. You know? Right. 